what is up guys i'm back here in south florida just made that about three hour drive to get here and i'm really excited to be down here guys make some videos and i already look at this guys as soon as i pull up in here two big iguanas sitting up on this wall so i'm gonna go ahead and check out the water see what it's looking like Let's see if I can't catch any fish, guys. Stay tuned. Yep, stupid iguanas. That's the only bite I'll get. Bury that hook in that bait just a tiny bit. Let's see if that helps. Those weeds sticking to it. Oh, that's a Placo. <laughs> thought there was like a big bass one by me. Ooh. Trying my best not to fall off of this ledge. Pretty steep right here. Man. I saw him sitting right there. Oh, come on. Uh, drag him up. There we go, guys. There we go. It's going to be. Give my rod a little bit of slack in it. Whew. That's a nice snakehead right there, guys. So the spot always seems to produce. Look at that beautiful snakehead, guys. It's pretty steep here, so I'm just gonna let them slide back down. Little baby snake right here. He just friggin' knocked my frog off. Ooh, there. He cut me? 
Dude, he cut the hook. Let me get him before my hook. Oops. I'm trying to grab my hook. There we go. Get my hook back at least. Slither back in the water. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you guys, their teeth are no joke. This is 50 pound braid. Now the little one. Oh, I'm gonna retie and see if I can't catch something else. Oh, come on. Oh! Man, he came, he did a frick, dude. Yeah, I missed him, that was all, that was all me. That was all my fault right there. I should have reeled my slack in before trying to set that up. mud how soft is this mud down here it's, 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 it's pretty firm actually No, my foot's, my foot's sinking in the mud a little bit. Ugh, now I got wet toes. Lovely. There we go. Little guy. Pulled him from the other bank. Nice. Oh. All right, guys. Oh man. I walk like a damn Michael. Oh shit. This little snake head right there. Been walking around this park for almost like maybe a half a mile or more before I've even hooked up into anything. So at least I know there are fish in this little body of water back here. He can make it from there. There he goes. I don't know if it's the cold front or what, but these snake heads just do not want to eat. They've, they've been spooking off, which is so weird. <sighs> little, little guy right here. Camera wasn't even on. I keep on accidentally turning it off when I think it's not on. That frog's destroyed. Gotta put a new one on. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Dead iguana. A lot of dead iguanas been floating around since the cold front. Oh man, he didn't know what hit him. Hold on, buddy. Go tell the snakeheads to bite. Oh. 
There we go. There goes a bass at least. Surprised I'm not hooking into more of these guys, but I am throwing top water. Come on, buddy. Come here. There we go. Alrighty. I was reeling in my rod and I just had a monster snakehead come out of that little tube right there and chase my bait. And I was too slow with it and he turned away. So I'm gonna see if I can't get him to come back. I've got something big on right now. Oh. Is that a snakehead? Holy crap, that is. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Whew. There he is, guys. Whew. Whew. That's a monster snakehead, guys. He hit it as soon as I threw it in the water. I didn't even have time to press record. <sighs> Am I recording? Dude, it can't even see anything. Hold on. I'll be right back. Thing. Giant right there. Wow. There we go. Look at this thing. Wow. Wow. guys fishing has been really hard down here down south and i just want to let you guys know it's not as easy as sometimes people make it look on the camera you know this is my third day out here and i've caught a couple fish guys and i have walked miles but i'm at another spot right now i'm walking this really long ditch and hopefully i can find something and i'm going to throw the gopro on and i'll see you guys in just a second There we go. I figured there should have been one sitting up in there. Yep guys, just these little ditches like this. What are you looking for? This guy's not too big, but uh, calm down. It's the little guys, they, they go crazy much, much longer. It's not terrible. There we go, guys. Let's go ahead and get a quick release on him. Try again. It's not a bad one right there. Pretty skinny though. Pretty long. Whew. Literally didn't even walk very far down this ditch either. I'm gonna put him in the cooler. I wanna bring at least like maybe three or four of them back home with me. I'll see you guys in, in just a little bit. There we go, guys. That's not, you know, he's no monster, but he's a decent sized little snake, especially pulling out of that little tiny ditch. And I will be taking this guy with me. Like I said, I wanna take at least three or four of them back with me so I have 
something to take with me, guys. But yeah, I, I usually only like to take from spots that I know for sure are connected to the canals. Like if it's like secluded pond or something like that, I really don't want to take them out of there. But spots like this that have like a clear connection straight to the canal, I, I'll take them just because the canal's loaded with these guys. And yeah, but I'm gonna put them in the cooler and I'm gonna get back out there. Ooh. Oh yeah. I just watched him come up out of the shallows, guys. And he inhaled it. Oh, I need my frog. That's the only frog I got left. But yeah. Oh, he, I just watched him inhale it. I had to walk quite a while to get him. But he came basically off of land. And he's a pretty good sized snake head right there too. Ooh. Should have um, brought my tripod. That way I could get a better shot of this guy's. But nice snake head right there. And hey, he's going on ice, guys. He's going on ice. Like I said, I want to keep at least a couple before I go home. I got quite a walk back to my truck, though. Guys, here's that little snake head I just caught right there. Pretty good size one. He's not like super fast, kind of lean on the leaner side, but he's gonna go on ice. And he's gonna make a really nice sandwich. Now I don't keep every one I catch, guys. I've caught probably a dozen this trip so far, and I've got two in the cooler total. I just kind of want to take a moment to go over kind of what I'm using guys so what I got here is just in um Daiwa it's a Tatula tactical 100 s it's an 8 to 1 gear ratio I've got that spooled up with 50 pound power pro and I just got it on a 7 foot 6 heavy like swim bait rod kind of I want something really heavy for the snake head so I can get a good hook set on them. And then I just like to use about a 4 aught EWG double strong worm hook with, let me grab one, Zoom Horny Toads. And that's kind of the setup I like to use. Is my GoPro on? It is on. Alrighty. Just a little one right there. I'm not like like a neighborhood I'm not supposed to be in guys, but no one said anything I'm, so far at least. I've seen two people so far. So I'm trying to kind of whisper into the camera. came from deep. Look at that. Hook's not even in the lips, guys. He freaking choked it all the way to the back of his throat. He wanted that frog. Probably have to keep him because his gills are bleeding. Oh, man. Yeah, his gills are got blood coming out of him down there, guys. So I'm probably gonna have to keep him because he might die. He choked that hook all the way to the back. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the cooler. It's a little bass. Dude, he hit it on the drop. Look at that fish, guys. Let's get a release on him. Not a bad one. I don't know if GoPro can even see it with a light, but go right back. Alrighty, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I went there right after the cold front, so the bite was pretty bad, but I did manage to get on some fish. So hopefully, you guys liked the video. I know it was a little bit of a longer video, but if you guys liked it, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos that I'm putting out, guys, sheep's head fishing, grouper fishing, paddleboard fishing, any of that kind of stuff, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys.